Hi, it's Stephen Caleb from Brownells, and today we're going to look at a big question in reloading. When you wet tumble, do you use pins or not? Yeah, Steve, so we did this, well, we got this question because we did that reloading series, yep. and we did some wet tumbling with pins, and uh, people were saying in the comments, they, some of them don't even use pins. That's right, I and, see a lot of that online. Right, and that's not the first time I heard that. So, with that being said, we have 50... 556 five, cases that are pretty dirty and uh, we're going to split them 25 25 we're going to do one with pins one without pins same amount of liquid same amount of time right next to each other and uh see which one gets cleaner so what's your what's your initial like prediction steve what do you think is going to happen supposedly the pins would scrub it faster mechanically you know it's kind of what i'm thinking yeah. so i like my I think so here here it is. Here here's here's where my here's where my head's at, right? On both of them, they're going to be really clean on the outside. Yeah. The one with pins because we decap these as well. By we, I mean I sat down here and Steve watched me do it yesterday. True. Um I think that the primer pockets and the inside of the cases on the pin one is going to be way cleaner. Okay. Way cleaner than okay. the, than that one. But um uh, there's only one way to find out, Steve. I guess so. Yeah, so this uh, this bucket here, we have our stainless steel pins, and then in that one we have air, um, which will be the same liquid that we put in this one. But anywho, that's what's in there now. So um, let's just kind of get started, Steve. If you want to take half of these. Which half? Uh, the, the right half. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, and I'll do yours for you. Okay, 25, got it, sweet. Where'd you, uh, you were counting by fives. Yes. Yeah, that's, I was gonna do one at a time. They used to teach that in the, school. Staring to the camera, they don't do that anymore. They teach other things in school now. All um, right, now what? Uh, what's our next ingredient? Okay, we're gonna, well, let's put some of this juice in here. Do we have to preheat the oven or anything? We don't have oh. to, not for this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember how to do this. You shouldn't need the whole thing full because this isn't a very big batch. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, what's, the only thing that's really important is that we use the same amount in each one. Right. Uh, so that, what is that? That's 0.64, we'll go with that. And then we'll, well, I'm gonna do it this way. That way I don't get any of the uh, is it explosive or something? It is explosive, very explosive. Just like Taco Bell. <laughs> and there it is. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, so now that all that's in there, uh, we just add some water. And roughly the same amount of water. It doesn't have to be down to the ounce, but you know, it's, it's still needs to. Well, we can eyeball that. Yeah. So that'll affect the concentration of the solution, I assume. All right. Yeah, a little bit more will be about half that bucket, and then you get the other half. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Yeah, that's pretty dang close. All right. All right, so now we take the lids and seal them up. Seal them up good. All right, you're, yeah, okay. All right, the seals are on, the lids are on. We're not gonna make you watch us no, you tighten all these that. wing nuts. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna put them tumbling and then we'll be right back. I'd say right back, we're gonna fast forward. We're gonna, these are gonna tumble for at least a few hours, probably three or four, close, yeah. close to that. And then uh, we'll come back and, and show you what's up. But now's a great time to thank the first sponsor of this video, Steve, which is, we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, we, we don't have any sponsors. So uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Thank you. All right, so we're back. We got the, we got all the brass tumbled. It's been, uh, it's been a while. So we're gonna go ahead and bust them open and uh, see what we got here. 
I don't know which one I have, Steve. If if I have the one with pins or without. You've got the surprise package. Yeah. This is a, this is my favorite part, Steve. Be careful with your nuts, sir. Hey, that's yeah, wing nuts. Wing nuts. Yeah, wing nuts. Get your mind out of the gutters. Or mine's oh, out of the gutters. I got the one with no pins. Ooh, that means that means I win. You got to buy me lunch. Oh man, mine's foamy. My pins made it foamy. How about that? All right. How about that? Well, this water's still dirty. Yeah, th this is dirty, dirty too. So here's what we'll do, Steve. We will. I'm gonna give you some paper towels. No. Let's uh, let's grab three pieces from each one. Yeah, well, you gotta roll your sleeves up here. Three pieces. You know, the stuff without the pins doesn't look too bad. I mean, mine's, wet, mine's still, mine looks really foamy, so I can't tell yet. You need to borrow a couple of mine? No, thank you. That defeats the purpose of everything oh. we're doing. All right. Yeah, this is, uh, the stuff's looking pretty good so far. That primer pocket doesn't look too bad. Another hour or two in there, and they might have been sparkly. Man, these things look good. All right. I'd load that brass. I'm gonna no hand problem. you. I'm gonna hand you that, and okay. you can com compare the outsides. How are we feeling about the outsides right. here? Let's compare the outsides. This is tumbled with pins. This is tumbled without. So the neck area is definitely different. Yeah. These necks and shoulders are, are way cleaner. I say cleaner. I mean, they just, they've actually been like polished. Yeah, you can tell that the pins were beaten against them and doing their thing. Okay, so so far the outside, um, I don't, I mean, there's no visible or difference in like the smoothness or anything. You're not going to no. notice anything there. It's just cosmetic. And that stuff on the outside of the non pinned. Yeah. So yeah, the, the ones with the pins definitely made a little bit of a difference there on the outside. So let me... Now the primer pocket in the one with pins does appear to be shinier. Okay. This one right here. This is one without the pins. And it's got a little... Let me dry it off just to be fair. It's almost there. It's not that far apart, actually. So I ran a Q-tip in here just to get the foam out because there was so much foam in there. But I noticed the Q-tip did come out dirty. That's probably not just the water. Still a little sludge in there? Well, I'm just trying to get the foam out so we could actually get a good look at the inside. You can swish it around in this clear. In the, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. A rinse. You gotta go through the rinse cycle. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good looking primer pocket. Yeah. On this pin one. So this is without pins, this is with pins here. Oh yeah, huge difference. Yeah. Now, truth be known, I've loaded a dirty primer pocket or two in my day. Yeah. And it, I mean, it, it doesn't, it's not gonna make a huge difference, especially like on once used. Right. Like, yeah, that doesn't matter. In fact, if I'm decapping on a progressive, you know, then it gets decapped and one goes right in. I mean, if one will come out, one will go in. Yeah, that makes sense. This is, uh, I'm doing, I'm rinsing some more because there's still a bunch of foam in it somehow. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now, the thing about my cases is there's just solution there. So all I gotta do is rinse them, dump them out, let them dry, and I'm done. Yeah, you don't have to, that's a lot faster. This one, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta make sure I get all the pins out. Right. And I'm gonna run it through a strainer um, and then like tumble it with right. that, um, that Frankfurt Arsenal one we have. Yeah. And that'll get all the pins out. 
Once they're dry. Once they're dry, but yeah. I gotta wait for it to dry before I can really do that and know all the pins are coming out of it. Uh, so, Although I did read on the internet, and it's gotta be true, that if you put water in your, uh, whatever holds your tumbler, you know, your rotary sieve, yeah. if it comes up to where it contacts the cases, it will break the surface tension and, and let those pins fish, uh, swim out of there. That makes sense. I haven't tried it. Okay. Well, it's worth a shot. It'd make it go quicker. Yeah. You know, you got to rinse them anyway, so why not do it all in one cycle? So I'm not checking my text messages here. I'm hooking my phone up to the borescope so we can take a look inside. Um, so I have an app on here. Lyman Bore. Here we go. Okay. So I will record this so you can see what I see. All right. All right, so here is a clean one. Let me make sure it's on video. And we'll slide this into the clean one. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. It's still there's still a little bit of yeah. junk in there, but the majority of it is absolutely gone. Cleaner than most of the stuff I reload. Yeah. But some people like it squeaky clean. I understand that. All right. Let me see uh, one of yours now. This one. All right. Let's take a look at one of the no pins. Ooh, oh, dark in there. Yeah, that's a lot dark dirtier. Yeah, this one has like, there's actually like stuff still caked on in there. You can see. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... That makes a difference, Steve. I would say, so, and, and in the reloading series, we talked about how it wasn't absolutely necessary to even, like, clean your brass that well. Right. Most of the time. But if you're trying to make some, like, ultra mega, super duper precision things. Yeah. It would make a difference, so. And some people just have to have it a perfect pristine case, too, each time. Yeah. And it's just personality quirk. Yeah, you know, uh, OCD and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, I think we can definitely say, because, I mean, that was, I just checked one, but even just looking in there by eyeball, I can see it's yeah. it's dirtier. It's a whole different ballgame. Yeah. So we don't need to, I don't think we need to check all 25 of each. Probably not. Get the gist of it. No, I'm good. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the experiment. That's the, the so what, what what was the myth here? The myth was that it doesn't matter. Uh, or you don't need pins. Don't need pins. And strictly speaking, depends on what level of cleanliness you want, whether you use the pins or not. Right. So just because the pins made a noticeably big difference, I would call it busted. Yeah. Now, if you're picking up range brass that sat over the winter and it's crusty on the outside, use the pins. It's crusty on the inside, too. Yeah. Use the pins. Use the pins. But if it's just something you just shot and picked up, you can go either way. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I would agree with that. That sounds good, Steve. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we did all this, so you didn't have to. Yeah, so that's it. If you have any thoughts or comments, please let us know. And as always, if you need help with anything, anything for any reason ever, give us a call on the tech line. They'll be happy to help you out. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.